In this video, I'm gonna be solo camping in the Appalachian Mountains with my dogs. I'll be sleeping in a tent. We'll be out chasing all sorts of game. Who knows what we're gonna get into, but I know we're gonna have a good time. Let's get into the video. So we're trying something new, guys. Just purchased my first recurve. Now, we're not gonna be using it in this video. I just wanted to show it to y'all, kinda introduce it to you. The goal is to get good with it, and this fall, try to kill a deer with it. But right now, if I keep shooting like uh, that at 20 yards, I shouldn't be in the woods with it. <laughs> $100 Amazon special. I thought for 100 bucks, I mean, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. It's still fun to shoot, but yeah, there she is. So we're doing another solo camping hunt with the meat dogs. Uh, I got the side-by-side -side pulled out front here. Gotta get it loaded up, get the dogs, and hit the road. Tonight should be fun. And also guys, before we get started, we got doors on the side-by-side. -side. If y'all watch enough of my videos, you know I've been complaining about my doors. Now we've got hard doors on the front and the company that makes these doesn't have them for the rear yet so we've still got soft doors on the rear but it's honda soft doors and they should be a lot better also we went to 30s so it came stock with 27s now we've got 30 inch tires on here and well obviously we'll be hunting out of the side by side tonight so we're going to be mixing it up tonight i've got a tent i got at cabela's the other day um, it's a two-person tent. Gonna give it a try tonight and see how it does versus the hammock the last time I camped. Just playing around and seeing which style I prefer. We'll see how it does tonight. And of course the sleeping bag. Sleeping pad. Dog leads. So I'm about ready to leave. We just got one more thing to get. You ready to go, Debo? You ready to go? Listen, buddy, you gotta make me a promise. No skunks tonight, all right? Let's go, let's go, load up. Load up, let's go, up. Come on, ding, ding, come on, brother. Let's go. We're only gonna take four this evening. Um, brother, Debo, ding, ding, and bliss. Let's go, Rudd, let's go, Rudd, up. Atta boy. Come on, Ding. Come on, Ding. Let's go. Atta boy. Big Ding. Get in there. Get in there. Look at him. <laughs> hey. Debo, aren't you glad you're not on that side with them goofies? All right, last but not least, Bliss. There she is. Let's go, Bliss. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Bliss, in a box. Go. And she goes on top. Bliss, in the box, not on top. You speak English, remember. You know the commands. Bliss, come here. Come here. In the box, honey. Back up. In the box, go. There you go. Got excited on that first one. Hey, Bobo. All right, let's roll. Alright guys, so we've made it to our camping location. This is a new spot, different spot from last time. I think this will do. It's kind of a, a grassy area here on this point, and the grass is actually matted down perfect right there. Thought that'd be a good spot to set up the tent. I would let the dogs out, but I'm gonna wait a minute because I don't want them using the bathroom all around my uh, my campsite. <laughs> Isn't that right, Bliss? So if y'all remember my last camping video, it was, it was my first time setting up that hammock. Well, this time I didn't make that mistake. I set it up in my living room ahead of time to make sure I kind of knew what I was doing. All right, let's get these stakes out of here. Go ahead and get everything staked down.
All right, we got all four corners staked. Now let's get out these poles and put them together real quick. There's one, and here's number two. What you do is you crisscross them, and then you just tuck them, tuck them in these little corners here. Grab this other one, tuck it in the other corner. It'll make this bow, this bow shape. Then you got the other side, you do the same thing with. And voila. And then you just grab your, your middle bar, put it over your top, your top pole like that. And then bring each one of these up. You just do this on all four corners. You got yourself a tent. What kind of a tent? If I left it like this, I'd end up with moisture all over me in the morning. So we gotta put the rain fly on it. Pull some slack out of it there. All right, so there you have it. I've got to set up. There's a few things I need to learn about it. Like there's some plastic tensioners. These plastic tensioners, I have no idea how to use. I even looked it up, couldn't figure it out. So I just did the old knot trick. Hey Bobo, what are you doing? There's the sleeper. Get the sleeping pad. And there we have it. It's a pretty sweet tent. Yeah. Well, just from the field of floor, something I'll probably do next time is put like a tarp down under it. That ain't an option for today, so hopefully I don't poke a hole in the floor. All right, now that I'm about to pass out, let's put the sleeping pad in there. Oh yeah, plenty of room. If Bliss is lucky tonight and she doesn't get sprayed by a skunk, she might get to sleep in there with me. Maybe, I don't know. Highly unlikely, so don't get your hopes up. Now the sleeping bag. All right, there's that. Sleep. All right, let's walk around and see if we can't gather up some dead firewood for whenever we get back. Money. Something I forgot not once, but twice, is an ax. I cannot remember bringing an ax with me whatsoever. All right, gonna make a small fire pit there just to make sure our fire stays under control. Well, we're probably gonna have to put the fire pit on hold until I get back. I can't hardly find any rocks in this area. And as you can see behind me, the sun is set, so It'll be go time in no time. Now I haven't showed y'all this yet, but I brought the 22 mag. So I got the 22 mag in there. Hear me out though. Small game season is out. So we can tree coons and stuff if it happens, but you just gonna have to, we have to let them go, which is fine, no big deal. But possums are open game all year long. So if we come across a possum, he's coming out. <laughs> and chances are we're gonna come across a possum tonight. All right, I'm gonna go empty the dogs out up here. And we're going to get started. They quit barking on me, but they just blew up. They just blew up. Let's cut them out here. And see what they're doing. Strike Devo.
man. I don't know what that was all about. I had this side door open right here and Debo blew up and then Bliss blew up. They're having trouble with it. Let me shut this. I know they're gonna get it out of here. Huh, they're having a lot of trouble with it right there. I wasn't even gonna hunt this spot. We're going to, like I said, we're going down in the holler. So they're, they're just circling hard right there. I'm gonna walk in there and see, see if it's a layup coon or, or what. I, I don't, they're not treeing. They're just having trouble. How y'all like this? The guys at Cajun Lights saw my last video and said, we gotta get that cat in a better headlamp. So they sent me this one out. Thank you to Cajun Lights. Pretty, pretty sweet light. See how good it does tonight. Dang, that could be a rapper. <laughs> What we got going on, brother? You think it's in there, brother? Let me look in there. Come on now guys, y'all gonna like this. Check this out. You ain't you ain't gonna believe what's in this tree. Brothers got him. The rest of them down there hunting. They're messed up. Brothers got it right here. Good job, Ruddy. Good boy. Let's show them what's in that tree, brother. Hey, come on! Come on! Here it is! Quit, brother, get back. Get back. Man, I'm struggling to get the light in there. Let me see if I can get this light. Wait. Y'all see that? That's a coon. That's a raccoon in there. You see his, you see his tail? Check that out. Check that out. How awesome is that? Good job, brother. Good job, son. Good job, son. Had a boy. Had a boy. Had a boy. Good boy. That is. That is, bliss. It's in that tree, bliss. There you go. It is, bliss. There it is. There it is, ding ding. There it is. There it is. Yeah, good girl. It is. It is. That raccoon is like probably right here. Probably right there. You see it, boys? Y'all got him. All right, let's get back to the side by side. All right, let's get back to the side by side. Come on, brother. Let's go. Good dog. Good dog. Good dog. Brother had to meet. All right, so we're waiting for uh, we're waiting for Debo to get back, and then we're gonna keep on hunting. I ain't sure what's going on, but Bliss is opening right here, and she almost sounds tree. This better not be a bear den. They definitely got something under this rock. I mean, I know it's not a bear. There's the gap isn't big enough for a bear, a bear to be in there. 
I'm gonna stick the camera up here, stick my head in there and see if I can see what it is. Back place. Back place. I still, I still don't have a clue what it is. I can see it. You see that fur? Hey, hey, hey! You see that fur? It's a possum. 100% a possum. 100% a possum. I'm gonna see if I can't help him dig it out. Get him, boy. She got it. She got it. And in seconds, the possum's dead. I didn't want to shoot back in those rocks. That was the quickest, easiest, cleanest way to take care of it. That possum's dead within seconds. The dogs did their job and dug him out. You got Bliss. You got him. Bliss stuck her head, stayed back, stuck her head back in that hole and got him. Now, some of y'all might think that was a little rough, but like I said, they had that possum. He was out like that. It's kind of like they're terriers. There's terriers that catch rats and do the same thing. Just on a little bit bigger scale with walkers and possums. <laughs> Here, Debo. Let's go. Brother's still carrying it around. All right, so like I said, guys, there's there's like this thing that went around Facebook for a while that was like, don't kill possums. They eat a bunch of ticks and stuff. Just a bunch of BS. I'm sure they occasionally eat a tick. They're doing nothing on the tick population. However, they do eat a ton of nesting bird eggs, turkeys, grouse, whatever else there is, woodcock, you name it. And there's no one, there's hardly anyone that traps anymore. Hardly anyone that does what I'm doing right here. So when I come across a possum, I kill them. Whether it's in a rock like that and I let the dogs go in there and get it, or of course I just shoot it out of trees. I care about all wildlife, I care about all animals, and I just want that to be clear. But possums need controlled and they are everywhere. All right guys, let's go. Let's go, we're gonna hunt them up. Let's go, hunt them up, hunt them up. Uh oh, we might have something. They just shot off the road right here. Here we go. Well, they've went silent on me. Not sure if that means they've caught a possum on the ground or what. I can see their lights down in here. I'm gonna get down here and see what's going on. Oh, gosh. They're down in here in a nasty, nasty drain. And it sounds like they're in a hole. There's huge, huge rocks in here. Like that. So they're acting like they got something caught. I gotta figure out how to get through this. Yeah, look at these boulders. You can see ding ding. What y'all doing? I'm gonna guess they've got another possum. Because it went in these rocks. It better be a possum. And not a skunk. What you got, Bliss? <laughs> oh, these are some big holes. Wow. Wow, look at this. Oh. Talk about getting away. Look at these this hole. I mean it goes 
way back in there. Good girl. All right, we're gonna get out of here. I really don't like this one. A lot, a lot can happen in here. It's definitely in here though. She wouldn't be acting like that. Ain't that right, boys? Come on, boys. Come on, Bliss. Oh, there's too many places, too many places for him to go in these holes. I mean, look at this. Just huge boulders. It's a man-made feel. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Come on, we're getting out of here. Let's go. Good dogs, good dogs. Good dogs. All right, guys, it's getting late. So we're gonna head back to camp. Come on, Bobo. Load up, in a box, let's go. In a box, go. Go. Good dogs, good dogs, y'all did good tonight. Go Bobo. That's not the box. Let's go ding. Let's go ding, yep. Atta boy. Debo, buddy, what are you looking at? You looking at the stars? <laughs> Come on Debo, here, let's go, in a box, up. All right, let's go back to camp and grab something to eat. Elk steaks on the menu tonight. Ready to roll. We're back at camp. I'm gonna let the dogs out for a minute. Also, I picked up rocks for the fire pit. I didn't get it on video though. Y'all gonna help me build a fire? There's our little quick fire starter. And we got one more thing in here. Cast iron and a little grate to set the cast iron on. And a bunch of rocks. <laughs> All right, let's grab our cast iron and grate. Carry this down here. I'm probably gonna have to put y'all up for the cooking, if we're being honest. Yeah, we d get out of that. Debo's just licking it. Y'all had enough camp time. Let me see how many rocks I can carry. Alright, so we got our ring. Let's grab our grate. Yeah, that should work. Prep our our pit here. Luckily, the wind and everything, it's really dried out today, so it shouldn't be too hard to get a fire going. We've got a flame. Get our Debo licked cast iron pan on there and let it start heating up. There's our potatoes and there's our beef tallow. And there's the steak. Let's get that beef tallow on there. All right, that'll start to melt. Cut open this elk steak and get it in there. All right. My pan's not quite even, so my tallow is wanting to go all to one side, but there we go. We got the steaks on. Let's get the potatoes. Nothing fancy, guys. Nothing fancy. Just dump the potatoes right in there. Potatoes are going to take a while. All right, let's pull one off here and take a look. I'm going to let it settle for just a minute. Oh, yeah. We're medium rare right now. Get them off there. 
Let me tell y'all, it doesn't get much better than elk steak you killed, cooked directly over the fire on cast iron. No seasoning at all. Just straight throw it on there and eat it. And we got some bubbly to go with it. And in case you're wondering, I did wash my hands. Mm-hmm. What do y'all say we save a few pieces for the dogs? I think they earned it tonight. Saved a few pieces. This might be tricky. Y'all like that elk? Good doggies. And brother and ding. Ding, where you at, son? That a boy, ding. That's way better than pup cups, isn't it? And it's healthy for you. All right, get back, brother. Get back. You gotta shut that or ding ding will hop out in the middle of the night. I want to sit here and eat a few more potatoes. Kind of random potatoes. No seasoning or anything. I don't know if that was the best choice, but. Home sweet home. Yeah. Let's see how let's see how dirty Bliss is. Bliss, come here. Back, Debo. Bliss. Oh, she ain't too bad. You're a little dirty. You'll be alright. So am I. Go. Go. Here. Let me get uh, stay, Bliss. Stay. Stay. Let me get my boots off. Go. So 99% of y'all probably don't know this, but, well, you probably do know. Bliss is, Bliss is my house dog, so I keep her inside with me too. And she was my first bear dog. I had her in college with me, and she's a special one. Whenever she was like six months old, six or seven months old, she, uh, she broke her leg. So that was a big setback, a rear leg. She has, still has rods and pins in it. And then when she was like a year and a half old, she got a horrible lung in, lung infection, and it almost killed her. We had to take her to Columbus, Ohio. Spent about ten thousand dollars with uh, different vets and surgeries and all that good stuff. And now she has a lung and a half. They went in there and removed a big lung lobe off of her, so she has a lung and a half now, and she's still out here hunting. So Bliss gets special treatment, and she'll always be a special one to me. And it. To make things better, she's like a superstar. Like, she is an incredibly smart dog. Can't beat her. And tonight, she got that possum. <laughs> Ready to go to bed, honey? She sleeps in a bed with me anyway, so this isn't out of the ordinary. I'm gonna use this jacket as a pillow. Ready to go to bed? You ready for bed? We'll see you all in the morning. Good morning guys. I think Bliss is ready to get out of here. We didn't end up on the pad, as you can see. But other than that, we slept good. Well, good morning. Good morning, fellas. Yeah, don't pee on my tent, please. Brother, how'd you sleep? Bobo, Bebo. All right, get out of there, brother. Well, as you can see behind me there, we've got an absolutely gorgeous sunrise this morning. All right, let's see if we can start breaking down this tent. Let's start unsnapping these. Still need to get my sleeping bag and pad out of there, but probably should have done that before doing this. What do you think, Debo? What do you think? Just don't pee on the tent, please. Sleeping bag and sleeping pad out of there. All right, all right. Listen, I don't need y'all's help. I appreciate it. Get off there, Dean. 
see. Should have put them up. All right, come on, let's load up. Let's load up. We're gonna put y'all up. Come on. You can tell they're father and son. They act just alike. They don't look alike, but their actions and everything are identical. Let's go up. Let's get the sleeping pad out of here. Just about forgot the sleeping bag. Now the sleeping bag, it does good. I'm impressed with it. I'm just going to set you all in here for the ride home. Well, I think that's going to do it for this camping spot. We get these dogs home. You ready to go, boys? What about you, Bobo? We're home, guys. We made it home. Ding, literally. <laughs> Ding doesn't want to be home. He likes being out hunting. All right, guys, well, that hunt turned out pretty good. I would say two possums caught, although we only saw one. I would say it was a really, really good shot. That was a possum in those, in those rocks where we had to go down in the hole there. And also, drop a W in the comments. No skunks this time. So, we came home smelling decent. That's going to do it for this one, guys. Don't forget, you can get your merch at kirkprice.com. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. Until the next one.